Hello and welcome to the Vita Weekly Update, where I take the news of the week and compress it into a bite-sized video. Two new Two Who games were unveiled for Vita this week, Double Focus, a Metroidvania themed game, and Two Who Sky Arena, an action game. There is also a Two Who Summer theme which is already available. Both the games are due in 2015. Exist Archive, a collaborative RPG from Spike, Chunsoft, and Triace, was revealed this week. The game involves 12 young protagonists carrying the souls of evil gods. You'll explore dungeons in a side view, and battles take place with four characters being controlled at the same time. The game will release in Japan in 2015. Iconoclast, a 2D action platform with puzzle elements, was revealed for PS4 and Vita this week. The game has a big world, lots of enemies to beat, and has been in development for over five years. The game has no release date yet. Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax is releasing in the US on the 6th of October for $29.99 physically and digitally. The physical edition will contain a bonus soundtrack CD for pre-orders and certain first wave copies of the game. Handball 16 was announced for Vita this week by Big Ben Interactive. Not many details on it just yet, however. Actual Sunlight was announced for Vita this week. The game is a story-focused adventure game converted from RPG Maker to Unity. The game is described as being for 18-year-olds and over purely due to its adult themes. The game has no date yet. Dre, a multiplayer platformer focused around physics objects, is coming to Vita sometime in the autumn. The game automatically connects you to other players and you both work together to solve stacking puzzles. The game is also coming to PS4. Spider, Right of the Shrouded Moon, is coming to Vita at some point in the future. The game is a puzzler where you take control of a spider attempting to catch bugs, while the real world weather and time of day influences the bugs you can catch. And finally this week, High Speed Dodging Game for Lossabox showed up on the store. I have a video on it if you want to check it out. That's it for this week. Channel update. I just got a copy of The Swindle and I'm downloading it right now, so hopefully see a video on that one soon. As for BlazBlue, I'm still working on that one, but it's BlazBlue. I can't change that much, can it? I also have a copy of Dungeon Travelers 2, but it's going to be a while before the embargo lifts on that one. Like, subscribe, comment, and share the video around if you liked it. See you next week.